What if you want to mirror the Linux kernel on Gitty? This repository, like some others, is very big and not optimized for full Git clonings. So, sometimes, when using the mirror functionality in Gitty with these kinds of repository, you'll get an error. Other problems leading to the same error might be a slow local connection that generates timeouts, or even an issue on the remote server. Instead of using the integrated functionality in Gitty, you can clone the repo using the CLI gradually by chunks. You can then add it to Gitty via the adopt function. Finally, you can transform the normal repository to a mirror. This last part involves a little hack on the Gitty database. If you are unsure, do a backup first. Note that it's officially not possible to convert an existing repository into a pull mirror. We'll see how to do this with an example. Let's clone the Linux kernel repository. Log in with the Gitty user and move to one of the directories with the repositories. Just like all other repositories on Gitty, this one must be cloned as bare. Initially, we'll clone just the first commit using the depth option. This will initialize the repository. Now I'm going to quickly check the repository's remote configuration and confirm that it's a mirror. We can start cloning the rest of a repository by chunks of 100, for example. This might take a lot of time, even with fast connections. You can, of course, adjust the depth multiplier and other Git options. After more than 10 minutes, I managed to clone about 2.4 GB. There are lots of more commits to go, however. Now we can import the repository in Gitty with the Adopt File button. I'm just going to check how the repository settings page looks like. And now the interesting part. What you see here is a visualization of the database by the software called Adminer. You can watch one of my older videos talking about the Gitty database and Adminer. Just like that time, the Gitty database is installed on PostgreSQL. What we have to do is to go to the repository table and filter the repository we need to transform. In my case it's ID 1402. Remember this number. This is the newest repository created. Now click on exit and set the is mirror column to true, then click on save. Go to the mirror table and clone one of the existing rows. Replace the repo id field with the id of a repository to transform. Here it's 1402, remember? Finally click on save. We are done playing with the database. If we go back to the repository page on Gitty and refresh, we see that something has changed. Now we can see the mirror of expression below the repository name. When setting the repository to public viewing, we can see the mirroring symbol as well. When I edited the repository in the database, I didn't fill in all the information such as original URL and original service type. Everything seems to work nonetheless but it takes just a few seconds to fill them in. Original service type must correspond to one of these integer values. Use one if you mirror the repository as I did on the opening of this video. If you found this video useful, like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye!